Hello everybody, it's me, Tana, and I'm here with your weekly intuitive guidance and reading for June 2nd through to June 9th. The first card for this week is Celebration. I'll read from the guidebook for all three of these cards. I'm using the uh, Universal Love Guidebook and Deck from Tony Carmine Salerno this week. Celebration. Your ideas and goals are about to manifest. This is a time for celebration and a time to give thanks to the universe. Remember the importance of celebration. Celebration is a ritual through which we honor our blessings. Before embarking on the next step, stop and celebrate what you already have. That really resonates with me, and in the previous video, I let you guys know that I was going to be taking the time to celebrate my achievements, and I asked you guys to also do that. And this card is saying the exact same thing. So sit down and celebrate how far you've come, everything you've done, from the little steps to the bigger ones. And indeed, it's always a bunch of little steps that amount to the big one. Um, as Will Smith said, you never set out to build a wall. You set out to lay one brick as perfectly as you can at a time. And before you know it, you have a wall. The second card up is Answered Prayer. Wow, that seems to go with the first one now, doesn't it? From the guidebook it says, the universe has heard your call, call for assistance. Your prayers will soon be answered. Expect a pleasant surprise within the next few weeks. Continue to trust and pray, for the universe is listening and it is always answers when called. And that's true. Remember to be clear and positive when we're asking too. Not desperate and, oh, Oh my God, I need this. No, be clear, positive, and grateful for everything that you have. And when you're in that frequency and in that zone, you draw in more things to be grateful for. Third card, relationship. This card looks a little um, blue to me. Um, I'm thinking it has more to do with the relationship with um, yourself. What does the book say? Relationship. Are you struggling to find a truly loving and meaningful relationship? If so, then look at the relationship you have with yourself. Our external relationships simply mirror the relationship we have with ourselves. What is lacking in your relationships with others is often lacking in your relationship with yourself. Learn to truly love yourself. This is vital if you are to give true meaning to your life. Be loving and honest with yourself and watch your relationships with others transform. This is so true. We teach others how to treat us. And if we are not feeling worthy, if we do not think that our ideas are important and significant and worth following through, well, no one else is going to be um, amping up your um, fan club. Because why would they? Why would they jump on a bandwagon and support your ideas if you don't even sound like you believe in them when you present them? So we really need to truly get deep down inside and heal those doubts, release those doubts, release the fears, and honestly truly believe in how brilliant and wonderful your ideas are, how strong your intuition is, and to follow it and to know it, and trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor. It's working with you when you are. It can't work with you when you are not. So, get your ideas, your frequency, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, everything on a more positive level, more positive frequency, and watch the things will shift for you. I guarantee it. Every time. Works. 
Thanks everyone. Have a great week and smiles to you. It's me, Dana.